One of my other favorite desserts from my new entertaining book is poached pears with Riesling. And it's a very elegant but simple um, presentation. And it's very easy to prepare. And we've joined, uh, we've asked uh, one of our audience members to be my sous chef for the day, Tara. Hello. Tara Whitman? Yes. So nice to have you. Thank uh, you. Where do you come from? Um, Massapequa Park. Oh, nice. Well, have you made poached pears before? Never. Oh, good. So Never. what we're going to do is choose a, a good pear. You can choose a um, Bartlett pear that's ripe or a, a Comice pear um, because you want a flavorful but yet firm pear because you want it to hold its shape. And start at the very, very top and peel down. Uh, taking off just one layer at a time of the, of the peel, but all of the peel, leaving the stem intact. It's very important to keep that stem intact. And, um, and these, are, these are such pretty pears, and they're going to poach in a, a delicious liquid made out of water, Riesling wine, a whole bottle, mm. and some brown sugar and vanilla bean. So it's a very simple poaching liquid that gets very flavorful as the pears cook in it. Get the, actually, the liquid gets really, really tasty. So you're doing a good job. So get it all peeled. And we have a whole lot of them peeled in front of us. And I just want to show you how to get the stem end. Um, we want the stem intact, but we want the, um, the bottom end, the blossom end, um, removed and the seeds removed, if you okay. can possibly do that. So, so just using a, a melon ball scoop, we just dig the bottom out and go all the way up until you get to the seeds. Very carefully, and remove those seeds. This makes it better to eat, and it cooks uh, more evenly. So you can see the seeds right in the inside there. It's a very um, clear view of, you have to go all the way up. You, didn't, you, you have to get those seeds out. All right. The core. Okay, so that one's done. Now this, the um, poaching liquid, as I said, uh, water, six cups. What you want are the pears to be submerged. And how you doing? All right. Well, so what, do you, what, what are your favorite desserts today? Oh, anything with chocolate and peanut butter. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Three quarters of a cup of light brown sugar and a whole bottle of Riesling. And bring that to a simmer and let the sugar dissolve. Well, everybody always makes noise. Joey, are you inducing them to make yes, noise? Yes, I am. Yes, Joey's I am. always, when yes, you add am. liquor or alcoholic beverages. Yes. It's just wine. You said a full bottle of Riesling, Martha. Yes, but that's, that's. Sounds like breakfast to me. Normal, normal. <laughs> so here, we just put these in. How are you doing? You see, are. You have to get all that hot. peel off. Okay. I do not let my sous chefs mess up. <laughs> and you're doing a fine job. Thank you. Yes. Okay. Don't be nervous. She's shaking a little. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's good. Oh, don't break the edge of the pear. All right, I think I got it. <laughs> okay. Almost, almost perfect. Okay. I'll take it. Yes. That's yours. <laughs> <laughs> and then we make a parchment round to go over. The reason we put this parchment round on, you know why? Yeah. Okay, we put that on top to keep the pears completely submerged. Mm. If they're under there and then nothing gets dried out, it's really uh, kind of an important step. And they're very easy to make. Mm. You just, uh, you just um, fold a piece of parchment paper like this and keep, but you can just cut it from there to there. It's the size of your pan. And uh, so you just, you can keep folding it and make it make it easier, but just make sure you end up with a round like that. It's fine, and that goes fits right in top. Okay, you don't have to do it. Oh. And then here's our pears that are already very nicely poached. It's going to take, uh, depending on the ripeness of the pear. Come here, come here. Okay. On the ripeness of your pears, it's going to take anywhere from uh, 15 minutes to maybe even 20 or 25 minutes. And you take them out very carefully without bruising them. You don't want to make any marks on the pears. And I sometimes let them uh, cool off and uh, just lift them out with the stem like this, because that way you don't make any marks on them. But aren't they pretty? They get kind of translucent. And, um, and once they're out, you reduce the liquid to about a third. And here they are. You can chill them. But here, come, come. And this is, they're in a thick, thick syrup. Place the pear in a dessert dish, 
ladle over a little bit of the delicious poaching liquid. And garnish with a chocolate leaf right on the side of the plate like that. And those chocolate leaves are so easy to make. Oh, this one, they've already taken the chocolate off, unfortunately. Oh, no, that isn't. That's a, a red uh, Bartlett pear leaf. You can just coat the leaf with melted chocolate. This is, I wish it were a green leaf because it would show up better. And then you peel the leaf off. If I can do that, but that's the way you make a chocolate leaf.